Hi, welcome to my video blog at webmasterradioschool.com and in this post I want to talk about uh, uploading files to our website or in this case uploading pictures to our web server. I just want to show you how to allow uh, your visitors or users to add some files or pictures to the web server and this is a web store which I created during my uh, webmaster video course which is also available at my website and here I have the admin part where the store owner can add new products to the store and here I'm collecting uh, uh, information about uh, the new product such as name, description, price and so on and here as you can see I have the ability or the option to add some pictures, a small picture and a big picture and to upload those pictures to the server. When the submit button will be clicked okay it will uh, trans uh, it will transfer all the information to the admin at productgo.php which is actually the target page uh, of uh, of this form okay you should know this uh, uh, this uh, php basics uh, uh, to create uh, to create this uh, uploading or picture uploading and let's take a look at uh, this page at admin at product.php at my HTML editor. Okay, and here I just have two inputs uh, where the type is file. Okay, just after the text boxes. Okay, I have a file input type and it is very easy to use it. As you can see, all all is done automatically by the explorer okay the explorer is displaying this uh, this pop-up window which allows our visitor to choose the file from his hard disk and uh, all i need to do is just to use this input type okay that is very easy now let's talk about this uh, admin at product go page which is actually the target page and this page is collecting all the information from those text boxes including those uh, file types and is actually storing uh, all the information in a database and then uploading the files to the server let's take a look at this page admin at product go okay here we are handling all the all the storage inside the database I will not talk about this uh, now because I want to talk just about the file uploading at this uh, post okay and here it is first of all my ID is auto increase uh, increasing value so it is generated automatically when a new record is inserted to the table or a new product is inserted to the products table and using the MySQL insert ID function I can find out what is the ID of the item which was just inserted into the table using this SQL sentence okay so here I'm, I'm just assigning this ID to the ID variable then I'm using the if sentence to check if the file is really an image because I want to upload only images here I don't want to upload any image any files that can harm uh, my server or something like this so this check is very important and I'm also limiting the file size okay this is the the general syntax of the if sentence and then I'm using if everything is okay of course and if this condition is okay those are OR and those are IF operands then I'm using the move uploaded file PHP function with this syntax and here I will write the location of the file I want the uploaded file to be stored inside the prod folder uh, on my server and here I'm talking about the name of the file I want the ID to be a part of the name and then s.jpg 
is added to the name. For example, if the ID is 10, the name will be 10s.jpg. Okay, this will be the name and the file name, and this uh, file or this image will be stored inside the prod folder. Okay, so actually this will be the full location of the file on our server. Okay, then I'm doing exactly the same, but this time I'm adding B to the file name instead of S. Okay, I'm actually uploading two pictures, one big and one uh, small uh, to our server. And I'm using ID here because I really want uh, the file to be named with the ID inside. And this is important for me because later in the displaying part of uh, my products, I am really displaying uh, the products according to their ID. So I can display automatically uh, all the all the pictures of the products uh, uh, automatically in very easy way. So that is why I'm using the ID here. But this is the general syntax. Uh, this is the general condition. Of course, you can uh, make changes to the size and to the file types and so on. Uh, of course, I will include uh, the syntax uh, and attach it to this post in my uh, website or in my, uh, in my blog on my website. So, I hope this was useful for you. If yes, please rate this video and uh, you are welcome to come back because I'm uploading at least uh, one new uh, post every day, one new video post uh, to my blog every day. So I hope to meet you during my uh, next post. Bye-bye.